In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the voltage, current, and power for each resistor. The question reads, find the voltage, current, and power for each resistor in the circuit below, and the resistance of each of these resistors is provided. Doing these types of problems can be quite challenging if you don't know the formulas associated with circuits. So throughout the video, I'll be referring back to this list of formulas that we'll be using to help us along the way. In order to solve this effectively, we need to reduce the circuit down to a simple circuit with one resistor and the power source. So currently we have all of these resistors that are in parallel and in series and we need to reduce it down into a single simplified circuit. The very first thing that I want to do is combine R sub 4 and R sub 5, these two resistors, into one. They're currently in parallel and there's a formula that we use to combine resistors that are in parallel and it's shown right here. So this reads that 1 over the total resistance is equal to the reciprocal sum of the resistors that are in parallel. That being said, I'll write down 1 over R sub A, where R sub A represents the resistance of the two resistors combined, is equal to 1 over 28.3 ohms plus 1 over 20 ohms. Now, by this point, if you're learning about electricity, you should know how to combine fractions or sum them up in this case. But of course, adding fractions can be difficult, especially if we're dealing with reciprocals here. So the best thing to do is to use your calculator to expedite the process. Let me show you how. 1 over 28.3 plus 1 over 20. Now, if you're not allowed to use your calculator, I do have videos on how to combine fractions, but it will take longer to do, of course. So that's the right side of the equation, or your calculator might give you the answer as a decimal. Then what you do is you take 1 divided by the answer that your calculator gives you. And you end up with 11.718. You can round to one digit after the decimal place. So I'll just round this as R sub A equaling 2, 11.7 ohms. So after you combine a set of resistors, you want to redraw the circuit. Now there's a lot to draw here, so just make a little sketch. Notice that we combine this one and this one together. So I'll call this part right here R sub A. But we still have that one, R sub 3. And we still have this one and that one. So you want to draw what happens after each combination, because you will refer back to it later. That's the resistance for R sub A. R sub A and R sub 3, this is R sub 3, are in series. So I will combine R sub 3 and R sub A as one resistor and when they're in series it's actually quite easy, you just add them up. So the combined one will be called R sub B and it consists of R sub 3 plus R sub A and in case you're curious about the formula, when resistors are in series you use that formula which is what I'm doing. So I'll combine 13.8 plus what I just found as 11.7 and that should give you 25.5 and that's in ohms. Again I will redraw the circuit where I have R sub B represented right here and that eliminates R sub 3 so we still have these two that we need to take into account and that is our second transformation. Our third transformation will be combining these two because they are in series. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll call their combination RC. And since they're in series, we can just add up 35.3 plus 11.4 ohms. And you should end up with 46.7 ohms. So these two are 46.7 ohms. And again, I will draw the brand new circuit where we have one resistor here and another one right here, R sub B. Remember this one is R sub C. Notice that they're now in parallel. So we'll have to combine them using that formula we used earlier. So one last transformation, they're in parallel, so I'll write down 1 over R sub D is equal to 1 over R sub C plus 1 over R sub B. Let's plug in the values. 1 over 46.7 plus 1 over 
25.5. So when we sum these up, don't forget to reciprocate it by writing 1 over its answer. All right, so 1 over 46.7 plus 1 over 25.5. Then we're going to take its value and we'll say 1 divided by answer. So we're reciprocating it technically. There's actually a button on your calculator that can do it for you. And it's right here in case you want to do that instead of saying 1 divided by what you found. It's the same thing. Okay, so again, the answer was 16.5 ohms. So our brand new circuit has been reduced to the power source and one resistor that's 16.5 ohms. Now that's very important for us because what we can do next is use the formula shown here, Ohm's law, to find out the current that's flowing through this circuit. And the formula is V is equal to I times R. The voltage is given in the question as 120 volts. And that's equal to the current times the resistance, which is 16.5. We divide both sides by 16.5 to get I, which is the current flowing through that one resistor. 120 divided by 16.5 makes 7.3. 7.3 is the current, and current is measured in amps or amperes. So that concludes part one of this question. In part two, I'll show you how you can use this information to calculate the individual resistance and current along each resistor in this circuit. Hope you've learned something so far, and we'll see you soon.